The CI-CD pipeline has become an essential part of the software development process in recent years. CI-CD stands for Continuous Integration and Continuous Delivery, and sometimes Continuous Deployment. In simple terms, it's a set of practices that enable developers to deliver high-quality software in a fast and efficient manner. The CI-CD pipeline involves the use of automation tools to streamline the software development process. It begins with Continuous Integration where developers frequently merge their code changes into a shared repository. Continuous delivery and deployment is the next stage, where the software is automatically built, tested, and sometimes deployed into production. Let's dive deeper into each of these stages to understand how they work and how developers use them to automate their workflow. First, continuous integration. Now, continuous integration is the practice of frequently merging code changes into a shared repository. The goal of CI is to detect and resolve any issues that arise due to the integration of code changes early in the development cycle. CI involves using automation tools to build and test the code as soon as it's merged into the shared repository. The CI process starts with the developer committing their code changes to the shared repository. The CI server then pulls the latest changes from the repository and builds the software. The CI server runs a series of automated tests to check if the new code changes have broken any existing functionality. If the test passes, the code changes are integrated into the shared repository. If the test fails, the developer is notified and they need to fix the issue before committing the code changes again. CI ensures that all code changes are integrated into the shared repository frequently, reducing the risk of integration issues. It also provides early feedback to developers, allowing them to fix issues before they become too complex and expensive to resolve. Next up is continuous delivery. Continuous delivery is the practice of automatically building, testing, and deploying the software to a staging environment. In the CD stage, the software is prepared for production deployment, but it's not yet deployed. The goal of CD is to ensure that the software is always in a releasable state. CD involves using automation tools to build the software and run a series of tests to ensure that it's ready for deployment. The CD server then packages the software into a deployable format and deploys it to a staging environment. The staging environment is a replica of the production environment, allowing developers to test the software in a real-world scenario. If the software passes all the tests in the staging environment, then it's ready for deployment to the production environment. Continuous delivery ensures that the software is always in a releasable state, reducing the time it takes to release new features and bug fixes. Finally, there's continuous deployment. Now, continuous deployment is the practice of automatically deploying the software to production environment once it passes all the tests in the staging environment. Continuous deployment is similar to continuous delivery, but the software is automatically deployed to the production environment without any human intervention. Continuous deployment involves using automation tools to build the software and run a series of tests to ensure that it's ready for deployment. If the software passes all of the tests in the staging environment, it's automatically deployed to the production environment. Continuous deployment is much more advanced than continuous delivery in that it requires a high level of trust in the automated testing and deployment process. Continuous deployment allows developers to release new features and bug fixes to production quickly, reducing the time it takes to get feedback from users and improving the overall quality of the software. So how do developers use CI and CD? Developers use CI CD to automate their workflow, reduce errors, and improve the overall quality of the software. The use of automation tools in the CI CD pipeline enables developers to focus on writing code, testing features, and fixing bugs. CI CD allows developers to catch errors early in the development cycle, reducing the cost and time required to fix them. So how can you take advantage of CI CD in your Linode workflow? We have many of the most popular CI CD solutions, including Jenkins as a one-click app in the Linode Cloud Marketplace. You can check out the Linode documentation to learn more about that, but we'd like to know how you use continuous integration and delivery. Let us know in the comments below. We would love to hear from you.